to turn it, I would like us to see what we tackle. I will have a question here uh, in our quantitative reasoning page 64. And when you look at this question, I've gotten many, many um, questions from people on this. And I say, I believe it's quite difficult. And I want us to look at it here clearly so that we know how to solve it in case you have a problem with this very place. So we have um, this problem here. We have this right hand or have this left hand side. When you look at it, it might be to you as if it's plus or minus or maybe multiplication, but it's not actually like that. And uh, when you reason, it, it might take you years to find the answer. That is if you are a good quantitative reasoner. But let's quickly see how you can solve it so that you can use it to teach your pupils or whoever you want to teach. Let's see what we'll do here. If you see the problems that will be given to you, first thing when you're solving quantitative, you check what is the diagram telling you. And also from the problems that are given you, what is it telling you? If you look at the problem in that piece, it's for you discover what is in the right hand side is what you're going to be using to find what is in the left hand side. And that's the case we're going to use to find this one here. So we look at it clearly, you see that what you have to do is what? Dividing the first here by 2, and what you get plus 6, which is 23 here. Then for here, you have this divided by 2, which is 24.5, which plus 6. To give you 30.5 or 30 and a half. Then 62, which is the third one, divided by 2 to give you, divided by 2 give you 31 plus 6 to give you 37. Then we'll have the last one, which is 76, divided by 2 to give you 35, 38 plus 6. To give you 44. So that's all. That's all. So I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, and also comment and share. So God bless you.